Hey, I'm back. This is Chandler for Melder Production, and today I'm going to show you how you can easily layer sounds with M Sound Factory. So let's just start out with something that I made. Let's go in here. List of things that I made. So these different presets, or I guess these are almost like instruments. Let's try Wavetable Crystal Pad. So this is one I made recently. I'll let you hear it. Sounds like this. So you hear it, it's just like a normal pad sound. I think I have a reverb on it there, like long reverb, but you get the idea. Uh, it's basically made of two wavetables here. So I'm layering these two together. And so of course you can do things this way. This isn't really the layering I'm talking about, uh, but this is a way to layer them by using the ratio or there's other things like the mixer and you can mix them in various ways and combine them. And so by doing this, you can have two wavetables together and you can kind of cycle through them and I can use the unison and all sorts of interesting things to make evolving pads that way. But as I said, this isn't what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is more like M Sound Factory Inception. So what I can do is I can take this sound and then I can layer it with another preset. So here I'm in the generator, but let's look over in the FX here. So you see we have everything going to channel one. So for out of the generator, it goes from one into the FX one here. But let's just turn this off for a while. And the reason I'm gonna do that is because I don't wanna hear that. Let's go into lane two and what we're gonna do is look under synthesis. And you see here we have M Sound Factory. You're like, what does that do? But what it does is it actually opens up another instance of M Sound Factory inside M Sound Factory. So that's where the inception comes from. And so from here, we can load in something completely different. So let's say I wanted to do something else like a FM style piano. Okay, so here's my FM piano. And let me just adjust a few things, turn the range up here. So now I have that, and we can turn some effects on. Let me see, maybe I want a little bit of chorus in there. Put some reverb on here, not too much, but just a bit. I apologize for my bad piano playing, but I hope you get the idea. But from here, what we can do is we can turn this back on, and we can adjust the volume, and we can blend these together like this. So that's really cool and it's very easy because I can blend this, you know, with any number of presets in here, anything I have. So I can just take these like instruments with this and just put them together and I could do even more than one if I, if I wanted to. So that's good and I can even combine these together using another ratio and put a reverb on them together if I wanted to do it that way. There's all sorts of things I could do, but I'll show you one more thing you can do with this and Let's do something else. I'll choose a different sound. Let's go back into synth. Let's try this idea phone here. So turn this off, the main one off, and let's just hear this. Like that. Now let's just put some reverb on here. Same as the other one. Turn down the high, uh, high end. Okay. Now, what I want to show here is how to use the arpeggiator. So if I use the arpeggiator here, it's not so good because if I use this one from the main one, it's going to arpeggiate not only the pad, this wavetable crystal pad, but also these, this uh, idea phone preset I have. And so, what I want to do is just have this idea phone mallet style preset arpeggiating and I want the other one to hold a chord. So I'm going to go into 
this arpeggio inside just this instrument. So I'll go into here. I'll choose, I guess, a preset here. Let's try this. Okay. Now let's hear this. I have the pad off for now. Okay, that sounds pretty good. Let me just turn it down here. And now let's turn the pad back on like this. So there, you get the idea. And you can do more of this if you want. Uh, again, I have to apologize. My computer's kind of glitching out there but you get the idea uh so normally actually this doesn't use that much cpu the glitch actually comes from me trying to screen record this at the same time but you can do this and you can blend any number of presets you can combine them together so there's all sorts of things you can do and now with the sampler there's more and more you can do so maybe Feel free to try your own presets, or if you find some other presets, try mixing them together. You can come up with all sorts of interesting evolving pads, pluck sounds, or anything. Who knows what you can come up with? So I think that's you know easy and hopefully fun way you can come up with a new sound. So if you like this, give me a thumbs up. If you have a question, leave that down below, and check out all the other plugins at meldaproduction.com. Until next time, see you.